thoroughbreds from Tinseltown. ATX and LAFC. Two worlds colliding as tonight's kickoff brought to you by Q. Uh, this week in training. Let's see if uh, the boys can deliver. And a player who was a star of that game for Austin FC. The early goal and had that chalked off. That one went to VAR. It took a long time and eventually uh, found on the back every time when the team presses you. As soon as you buy foot here. Cifuentes, Sifu as they call him in LA, is another young midfielder. Cut price bargain figure they got him for two and a half million, which is now. Christian Chicho Arango is not necessarily on the radar screen. Club scouting as a rookie player back in 1998. It's good work again from Arango. You can see his electricity. Is he caught? He was. And I think Hector Jimenez, he's been a revelation for Josh Wolf, brought in to be a leader in the locker room. out a little wasn't he as uh, Cifuentes tries to catch out uh, the back line but uh, well he's been caught and he's won a free kick here yeah, what uh, the Austin fan base think of that decision as a must win for a team that you could catch this is Raheem good deflection they cleared acrobatically by Raheem Edwards and very effectively. And it could turn defense into attack here for LAFC. They have three against three with more defensive cover arriving. It was well played in the end. The Austin retreating defense. We talked about the attitude of Austin FC last weekend. It was plays like this. When a player gets beat, a teammate is second best to a ball. There are not enough players. To get yours now. Josh Wolf asking for intensity, and already Cecilio Dominguez, he looks fired up for tonight's game. Stuck with Dominguez, hasn't he? He's played in every single game this season. Just the first goal is even more important than normal between these two teams tonight. Neither of them have been good at coming back, having conceded the first goal in games. 13. And I think there was a test it to have the champions. And what do we do? We play it into the middle of the park. Back to that because Fuentes has released a rango to the byline. He goes and sends it in. Climb from Cascante to get there. This is Fuentes teeing up Edwards. Overcooking his cross a little up. Fuentes. And a lack of a real focus and target is too glaringly obvious as Rodriguez comes the other way. A couple of months players have abandoned their posts to go and fight fires elsewhere, haven't they? I think that's typical, especially when it's been a long Now that the shot is on, Fuentes. Skewing his effort wide, five goals and three assists. It's been a splendid second season. Ring weighing it up. Edwards standing tall. We know Alex Ring can hit them. Rango is taking it away. Lena getting a, a heel in the way of the cross. Lena almost sold short. Playing with fire at the back there. Shot from distance is not going to trouble Stuver. Cifuentes, man in Cascante there. Cascante trying to do everything he could to get out of the way, and then Driussi beaten to the uh, follow-up ball. It's a long-ranging run on the far side from Cifuentes. Time, 11 straight games in which they've conceded the first goal. And they've lost all 11, in which they conceded first either. So, gauntlet laid down, worldwide fame, scoring the win winning penalty kick for the Canadian women's national team at the, at the Olympics. 
your thoughts on that in just a moment, Julia, as we look at uh, Kim Moon Wan delivering the cross for could be a thrilling final 20 minutes or so here. First challenge, Lima oh, he just delayed a little bit much and could be punished yet. Rodriguez can't have out the shot, but Cifuentes can. It's a tame one though. Was able to read it. And Fall was showing him, he was giving him the ball to the left hand side. Well done by Jan Komenich. He was telegraphing that, shot. holding midfielder, closing down spaces. Play for Kim Moon Wan and Cifuentes raking off the foot in there, Pereira. Ginella. Now then, through the middle go LAFC, and Stuver is beaten. And it's Danny Mazowski, the super sub for LAFC. And just like that, the Verde F Black defense unstitched in ruthless fashion. Mazowski. Restores the lead for LAFC. This goal comes off of Danny Pereira turnover. Something we saw last week against Houston Dynamo. Is when you're a defensive midfielder, you have to be making a lung busting run to get back. And he turns it over. Matt Prey blades down. Nick Lima, tired legs from him. Wouldn't be surprised if a change comes in the form of Hector Jimenez soon. Need any second invitation to Kanja Ford. He likes to do that sometimes, but he does it take it away. So Fuentes with the tackle. Goes to show you how strong. Super Fluid, his Driussi. Hasn't been at his best tonight. Towards Redes. Pinball inside the penalty area. Could have gone anywhere. May very well get your wish. To that sequence with Alex Ring almost. It's a valiant effort, 100% more 